All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we are at Maddie today. You know, I was expecting, I was being hopeful that maybe it's not as flooded here as it is in Galveston, Freeport, but I was wrong. It's really flooded. And <laughs> check it out, man. Usually this water isn't this high. It's like way back there. Goals today, goals today is just to catch one fish. Just one fish for you guys to enjoy on the video. Man, I, I'm trying to be hopeful. I'm trying to be optimistic. Maybe we'll get lucky, who knows, but with all this fresh water and all this flooding in the marshes, fishing has been tough man i know a lot of you guys are struggling i'm struggling and uh, it'll get better uh within a couple weeks hopefully but uh we're gonna try our best to get one fish today man we're here all right man let's get this fishing man Right, guys got the gopro on we are starting off on our little adventure Let's see if we can catch some fish man that's that's the plan like i said one fish simple life goal i've been known to fail at my goals <laughs> but we're gonna try today man it's it's so flooded man this is really discouraging but i'm gonna keep my spirits up and we're gonna see if we can catch one fish today baby okay the game plan is just to follow the grass line and see if we can blind cast us a fish maybe we'll get lucky and see a blow up who knows that'd be cool but uh if that doesn't work we might just have to park at a drain and see if we can get lucky that way but grass line fishing the grass line i guess that's the plan right now man i'm looking for any kind of clue man i'm not seeing anything like a fin maybe a small fin popping up or something I mean, the water's clear enough. I mean, it's not as clear, clear, but I mean, you can see like six inches visibility. Oh, there, oh, I had him, I had him, I had him. Dude, I got hammered there, bro. I just got hammered. It might be a flounder. Dude, I got, mine got pulled. Man, I got hammered there. Just, uh, we missed it. I don't know what it was. I think it was a little small flounder. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got hammered. Seems like a little red. Nice. It's running right towards me. Yeah, it's a little red. Oh, I'll take him though. I'll take him. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's a flouty. Nice flouty. It felt like a little red. Dude, that's a that's a nice flabby bro <laughs> oh my god dude that's freaking awesome man um all right well let's power pull down and get him off that's freaking awesome bro i can't believe it well i mean being brackish water uh with all this flooded water i would <laughs> dude look he's like convulsating <laughs> uh Look at that. That's a that's a good flatty. I would imagine he's probably about, I don't know, right at 15 inches maybe? Let's see. He felt like a red, honestly. All right, nose on the board, 15 and a half. 15 and a half inch flatty. Check it out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hell yeah, boy. Check this out. Look at that flounder, man. Tell me that's not a pretty flounder. Dude, I'm so happy to catch one. It's going to be a tough day, no doubt, man. But one keeper flounder, dude, I think I met my goal in life. <laughs> so pretty much, I'm using the Hoagie Swimming Jack. Uh, usually I would use something else, but honestly, since with this flooded water, this is the lure that I have most confident in because I mean, pretty much I'm blind casting. Check it out with the Hoagie Swimming Jack with the swim hook. Uh, if you're interested in buying the Hoagie Swimming Jack, it is now available at um, Sirius Tackle in Lamarck. This specific color, the gold with the um, uh, chartreuse tail and uh, this hook you can buy. I have a link in the description below. You can buy it off of Amazon. Check it out guys. 
This is my go-to lure. This is if I was gonna, if I was only had one choice in life to pick one lure for the rest of my life, this would be it right here, either the one eighth or the quarter ounce. So, and pretty much what I did is I tossed right here at this grass line where it cuts into the main channel, and he was hiding right there, and I got hammered. That's it. The good thing about flounder is uh, with all this high water, um, you can kind of expect them to be at these drains and they're not going to really go into the grass line like reds because reds just, like I said, they just go everywhere, especially when you have all this water. So I imagine they're a little bit easier to catch. They're still not, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not easy to catch, period. But uh, with the high waters, I think your chances of catching a flounder is a little bit better, in my opinion. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, look at that snake. See that snake right there? <laughs> cool. Oh, there we go. Nice hit. That's a smaller guy. Uh, probably a little red. Yeah, a little red. Look at that. Uh, a little trout. <laughs> nice little trouty boy. Thank you for hitting. I know that scared you, right? Oh, nice. You're croaking too. Nice little trout. Thank you, my man, for the fight. Yeah. I think that'd be our. All I was trying to do was get to the like wherever the back lake's new grass line is. That's what I was trying to do. It goes way back. Oh, I saw a little flash here. Yeah, that's freaking crazy. Oh, there we go. I knew I saw a flash. Look at that flabby. Nice. Dude, I knew I saw a flash. Oh, sh oh you mother. Oh, you. There he is right there. <laughs> okay man i'm gonna count that as uh, as, as a caught fish caught but mark said no but i don't care i count it's my channel <laughs> no but no i saw a flash like right there in this little mud dirt area this okay let me tell you what guys this 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 is usually not here there's at least two feet of water extra fresh water in this back lake at maddie um, usually the grass line is like right here, but look how much water just flooded all the way across and it's crazy um, It's been a struggle, but I'm um, I mean, you know, I've caught a couple of fish. So I can't complain I mean, we got a lot of odds against us. We got about what 15 mile per hour sustained winds two feet of extra water uh, It's just uh, it's really hard right now. Nick come over to my channel. It doesn't count Shut up Oh, there we go. Nice. Another red. Smaller guy. Yep, a smaller guy. What is this? No, it's a trout. Nice. Oh, that's a smaller guy. Hey, I'm going to use the net so I don't lose him. I think he's going to be a... Oh, come on, bro. He's going to be a keeper, man. Not... He ain't no keeper. Dude, he got a, a big laceration on him, though. Check out this trout. Dude, that's crazy. Look at that. He's a skinny guy. I think he might be right at 15 inches. Let's measure him. This might be our third keeper today. Oh, dude, perfect. Right, look at that. 15 on the, well, 15 in the, well, 15. Look at that. He's a keep, bro. Nice keeper. Guys, check out this beautiful trout here. I'll take anything right now, man. This is right at 15 inches. Oh, 15 and like say two weights. Well, that'd be uh, one quarter, right? 15 and a quarter. And uh, he's a skinny guy. Check out that laceration he has on his body, man. I feel bad for this guy. We're gonna let him go. But like I said, I'll take any fish today, man. It's been tough, dude, tough. And um, just to have, just just to catch a couple of keepers, man. That's 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 a win for me, seriously. But here you go, buddy. Thanks for the fight, my man. <laughs> 